From Phoenix, Arizona, The Cube at Catalyst Conference. Here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Girls in Tech Catalyst Conference. Um, fourth year of the conference, going to be back in the Bay Area next year, but again, as we said before, something in the water here in Phoenix because we were here two years ago for the Grace Hopper conference as well. So a lot of good women in tech action happening in Phoenix. So we're really excited to have the brainchild behind this whole thing, the force uh, who's really making it happen, Adriana Gascon, welcome. Thank you. Good Thanks for having here. us down. So Adriana, so tell us the story of uh, Girls in Tech and Catalyst specifically. Yes, yeah, so Catalyst was an inspiration uh, based on it. when I worked on Intel, we invested or we sponsored a conference for Oprah. It was called Oprah, o Oprah's O Conference. And what was super compelling about that conference was that there were 10,000 women in the Moscone Center in San Francisco, and they were engaging and raising their hand and sharing their own personal stories trials and tribulations, and speaking about really uh, interesting hot button topics such as building a business or finances or interior design, you know, things that really were compelling to them. And so what really struck me about this environment is that uh, women actually were, had a voice. They were encouraged to, to raise their hand and speak up. And I wanted to do this in the tech world because uh, in, in a very, um, gender scarce uh, uh, world, uh, it's important for us to have both voices, right? And so I think this environment enables women to speak up and share their, share, um, their feelings and their passions right. openly. And I think I heard your story early on where you were at a startup and you were like the only, only woman and then they hired more people and you were yeah. still the only woman and they hired more people and you were still the, the only woman. So you kind of lived it firsthand. Yeah, so that was sort of the impetus behind Girls in Tech and I felt that the company, the startup I was working at wasn't doing enough for recruiting uh, and recruiting not just women but just in diverse groups of people, um, which does affect product development. You need many different perspectives, many different experiences and backgrounds in order to have a comprehensive product. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and I started Girls in Tech in 2007 and nine plus years later, we're in 60 cities around the world in six continents and 36 countries with over 40,000 members. So it's awesome to see the growth. I'm now doing it full time and the sky's the limit. So how do people get involved? So kind of what's your kind of corporate mission statement? And then if people are watching from some city that you either are in or maybe you're not, how, how do they get involved? What, 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 is it, what does it mean to be involved in Girls in Tech in City X? Yeah, so our tagline is empowerment, engagement, and education of women in tech. So this is an inclusive organization for both high-tech women who want to learn more about entrepreneurship and leadership and for women that are in startups that want to be employees or leaders uh, or start their own companies. So we've developed curriculum that we prototype and pilot in Silicon Valley, perfect it, and then deploy it to our 60 chapters around the world in electronic press kit format. Um, this is great because we get to customize it with the teams on the ground and do everything from coding and design boot camps, entrepreneurship boot camps, to the Catalyst Conference, to our Lady Pitch Night uh, competition. Um, pitch Night, not anything else. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Pitch, <laughs> pitch, pitch. Pitch, pitch. Yeah, we're a PG show, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and we do an exchange program that brings 20 to 30 female entrepreneurs to Silicon Valley to really experience the nuances of this tech ecosystem, what makes it thrive, uh, learning skills on how to become entrepreneurs, meet and greet with VCs and influence, influential people in Silicon Valley. Uh, and we have a few other programs that you can check out on the website. Uh, but, but it's exciting because it's not um, one size fits all approach. It's I'm a woman and there are many different changes I have in my career lifetime. So we want to be there for you within your junior, middle career, as well as leader, as a leader. Right, and we've certainly heard that over and over with the guests that we've had on today about people changing tracks, changing careers, changing industries, and, and really this theme of continual learning, continual growing. It's a long journey. You know, you're we have a saying at Heart Company, you're never there, you're only here, they're still there, and you keep moving down the road. It, yeah. it just keeps moving further out. So, so a couple, three-day conference, what are some of your takeaways, some surprises over the last three days that you'd like to share? 
Wow, uh, where do I begin? I mean, the sound bites are all so stellar, inspirational skills, best practices, but the thing that really stood out, I think, in this year specifically, was people's stories, their emotional stories, their passions, uh, the things that wake them up in the morning, uh, and they say, yes, I wanna you know, change the world and make an impact and love my life while doing it. And um, it was very candid, you know, some of these women really shared difficult situations. Um, and these situations help fuel energy and their fire to make change in their life, to help and pay it forward with up and coming women and leaders in the tech industry. So it was powerful from the candor and the friends that were made and the passions that were shared. Awesome. Well, I know you got to get back to the conference, the master of ceremonies, keeping everything <laughs> on track. So I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your time to stop yeah, by. My pleasure. And again, thanks for inviting us to this conference. We're really excited to come down and we'll look forward to, to next year's. Yeah, next year it's going to be in the Bay Area. So in your neck of the woods. Awesome. Yeah. Adriana, again, thanks for, uh, for inviting us, running the great show, the Girls in Tech Conference. Uh, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.